rotten. He wants my attention, but he won't. But then when I try to give him attention, he won't take it. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you. He does this thing where he just rubs on everything. Okay, so right now I am just getting ready for the day. And I'm going to do my makeup. And then I have to record my Ipsy bag. I'm just going to do some quick everyday makeup. And then I'm going to record my March Ipsy bag. So for my primer, I'm just using this Nip and Fab. And it makes my face super silky. It's a dark circle corrector. And I'm just going to put some of that on my dark circles. Okay, and time for concealer. This is my all-time favorite, guys. This is this is what you want. You want this. Just apply that. And then my little trick is I take my beauty blender and spray it with my setting spray, and that will actually make it last all day long. And now I'm just taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder and setting that. Next is my bronzer, which I am literally almost out of. I'm going to actually buy a new one today. And it's just the Rimmel Natural Bronzer. I've been using this for years, and honestly, I just love it. It's like $5.00. And it just lasts a long time and works really good. Matte. And it is a beautiful peach color. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheeks. And it just gives a beautiful color. I feel like blush is one thing I have to use. Like if I could only pick like... If I could only pick like two things, it would be eyebrows and blush because I'm pale. Blush just gives me life. So, my highlight is the Revolution Baked Highlighter. Sorry all my makeup's dirty. One of them busted and they all got dirty. Okay, and this is just a little tip that I saw. If you want to turn any brush to a fan brush, you just take it, take your two bobby pins, stick them on the bottom like this, and stick it across. And you can make your own fan brush. I just saw that somewhere, and it actually works. I've tried it out the other day. You see that? Okay, and now I'm just going to finish my eyebrows off the camera. You guys don't even know the struggle I just went through for these stupid eyebrows. Like, they probably took me like 10 or 15 minutes. Like, should I shave off my eyebrows? Should I give up? 3,000 Q-tips later. So this is as good as they are getting. Bahama Mama. Um... Bronzer, eyeshadow, I don't really know what it is. It says bronzer, but I mean, I think it's an eyeshadow. Who knows? So I'm just going to take my brush, ease into my crease. This is just my very simple eyeshadow look. Natural. Taking this brand to brand, as you can see, this color is what we're using. And clearly, it's my favorite because it's gone. <laughs> I'm just taking this little flat side of my brush and putting this shiny, bronzy, brown color just on my lid. I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Excuse my curler. It is neat and cleaned. Right here. Mad Lash. 
this mascara right here from the balm it works let me just this is my eyes my eyes without mascara like look at that just my everyday makeup but since I am about to be filming since I am about to be filming my Ipsy bag review, I'm going to wear this lipstick. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and film my Ipsy bag review. But if you guys ever want to see any makeup videos or tutorials and that type of stuff, just let me know because I'm not, like, the best at makeup. But I do have fun doing it, so. Okay, so I just filmed my Ipsy bag review. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to post the Ipsy review first on my channel. So if you're watching this video now, then you might have already watched that. If not, then you should because I give you a little first impression on all these items. And yeah. Oh god, what did I do? Okay. So now I think um, what I'm going to do... Here's Chloe. So I'm going to go ahead and edit my Ipsy video I just recorded and go ahead and get that posted because I really wanted to get a video posted today. And then I'm going to go to some stores and maybe do a little shopping and then go to the gym. So that's what I'm doing for now. <clears throat> hey guys, what's up? It's later in the day and I did go shopping, but let me just tell you what happened. So, I don't know if everybody has these stores around you. It's called Play-Doh's Closet. It's basically like used clothing store, but it's like newer stores and like they only take stuff that's like trendy. Well, anyway, so I went to try on some jean shorts because I'm supposed to be going on vacation in like two months and I don't have any jean shorts. And I literally had a car full, okay? Like, I had like probably 15 or 20 pairs of shorts. And not one single pair worked. And other shorts worked. I'm just going to stick with rompers and dresses all summer. Because I hate jean shorts anyways. And I only like high-waisted shorts and high-waisted leggings. Just because I don't like, I just like it like to cover my stomach versus under it. And it's just so hard to find. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to wear dresses on vacation. Which, I can't wait to go on vacation. I'm going to Florida and Disneyland or Disney World. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I have not been somewhere like that since I was literally a baby. And I'm going to vlog and I'm going to do some cool videos and I've got really cool stuff planned. So hopefully that all works out and I'm taking a plane for the first time ever. I pick up a couple things shopping today. Okay, first off I got these like weird kind of sandals and I only put one on because I'm lazy. But they're like, I don't know, they're kind of cool. They're really strange. They're made out of like like plastic but I got these because they are like waterproof and I mean I think they look cute on and I also got them for Florida because I can wear them in the beach and sand and get them wet and they'll just rinse right off so I thought those were pretty cool okay the next thing I got is this top and it's originally from Rue 21 and it was only I think yeah, $5, so you can't beat that, and I usually don't like Rue 21 clothes because they're kind of, like, they always just fit me weird and fall apart weird, but this one was really cute, and I like how this goes across the neck, and up close, it is this pink suede material, which I'm just, I love the color, I love suede, it had the neck thing, like, I was, I was sold, so I got that, and then, oh my gosh, you guys, this is the deal of the day. First of all, I got these leggings, okay, which this is Lululemon, which if you've never heard of Lululemon, it's a very expensive workout athletic clothing company, and these leggings are so cute. The details in the knees have like these ridges, and it's just really, really, really cute. They fit so good, so comfy, so stretchy. They're high-waisted because that's what I like, and... They make my butt look amazing. And guess how much I paid for these? 
$12. Okay, now if you go online right now and look up Lululemon leggings, um, you're going to pay about $68 to $128. So, yeah, I think $12 compared to $60 to $100 is an amazing deal. I want to say thank you so much for 600 subscribers. Ah, that is freaking awesome. Honestly, um... When I started YouTube, my first goal was 100 subscribers, and then I said 500, and then I said 1,000. And I never set a goal past that, because I was like, obviously, that's going to be like really hard to get to 1,000 subscribers, but that's my cat meowing. But I'm literally at 600 subscribers already. Like, that's so awesome. Thank you so much if you're subscribed to me. This is Marsh. He wants my attention. All right, guys. Well, I am going to end this vlog here, I think, because I need to go to the gym if I can. And then I'm supposed to maybe go on a hot tub date with my girls and just have a chill, relaxing night. So I will see you guys later. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you're not already, like always. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.